Hi guys! I hope you all had an egg-tastic Easter. See what I did there? You see? You see? Yeah, so. What Easter could possibly be complete without, well, a giant basket of candy, right? So, even though I'm 20, I decided that this year I was going to exchange Easter baskets with a couple of my friends. So my first friend got me this huge thing of just candy and like all kinds of cute little things and he couldn't even fit it in like a basket so he gave me this tiny cardboard box. Can't even lift it. Oh god, okay. Okay, that's enough cardio for the day. Alright, so I thought I'd go through and show you just how much stuff is in this box. So just for my one friend. Here we go. I'll lay it all out here for you in front of me. Hot Cheetos, which are amazing. So amazing. And I love my cheddar sour cream ruffles, of course. We got Little Debbie. If you haven't had Little Debbie, I don't know you. She's my child. That sounded totally creepy, but that's okay because you know what we're going with. It. And I love strawberry shortcake that's my all-time favorite I'm getting diabetes just looking at this stuff dots I love dots so much I don't like Twizzlers so much I'm just not a fan of licorice it doesn't really matter what flavor it is honestly we've got sour patch bunnies and you know what I didn't even know that they had like the Easter edition where it was bunnies but cute Cute, cute, you know? We got Swedish fish. Aw, oh, yeah. He knows me too well. Lemon heads. And if you're like me, you totally broke your teeth on these as a kid over and over and over again, and you just never learned because they were just so good. Sweet tarts. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm kind of sad that this isn't the chicks, bunnies, and ducks one, you know, where like they're like shapes. Those are kind of fun. I gave those to my other friend Sam for Easter. War has sour jelly beans. I've had these before and I really don't like them. But um, yeah, I'm willing to try them out again on this channel. If you guys want to see me try some of the more interesting candy, just let me know. Dove milk chocolate. This is like one of my favorite more higher end chocolates. I guess it's not really higher end, but it's up there in price, so I consider it to be higher than like, you know, Hershey's. Wildberry Skittles are my favorite Skittles. He knows me so well, and I'm probably going to die from all the sugar, so if I'm not back soon on my channel, you know what happened. More Twizzlers. Don't like that, but it's okay, because my dad does. I'll give him a Juicy Fruit and Big Red are, I mean, when I do chew gum, I don't always chew gum, but when I do chew gum, I like these too. And every year, even, I mean, I buy them for myself because that's just who I am, I'm a fatty. But I love the marshmallow eggs that come in the carton. He got me two packs. You could never have too many of those though, am I right? I mean, if you like them, if you don't, then well, then I apologize for your loss. Taco socks. And it says taco with like the TAs on this sock and the CO's on this one, so it would spell it out completely with two socks. We got cat socks. I'm obsessed with cats. Well, if you didn't know, you will know. And we have a Tinkerbell Pez. I'm gonna open that up so you can see it. And the rule which I made is that Easter basket wouldn't be legit if there wasn't a Pez inside. That's always how I did it as a kid. My parents, my, my brother used to make me baskets. And this one's too good. Ugh, gummy Starburst. Well, they're gummy bursts. And they're awesome. If you haven't had them, go eat them now. I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you should be eating those. And we have green. Peeps. And um, these are definitely Easter tradition and one of my all time favorite things to get around this season. I mean, you can find them at like Halloween and Christmas too, 
But do you ever see them? Because I don't. And Easter's the only time where like you just buy like 200 packs and just like make a nice peep pillow and just kind of just, you know, rest my face on it and then eat it all. So yeah. Um, he got me this stamp set and I love like little like things that I can use for my mail because I send out a lot of cards to friends and family as well as just mail because I use this site called SwatBot and I'm always sending postcards and sending letters. I just, it's one of my hobbies. So he knew that I loved, you know, this kind of stuff. So he got me two stamp sets and they're all Easter themed. So I will be getting lots of use out of those next year. A pixie stick, which I'm totally gonna go snort later because there's really no other way to eat this thing now, am I right? I'm right. Mini Robin eggs. Oh my god, I love these. The malted milk balls, but you know, they're like speckled. Oh my god, yes. Uh, we got a chocolate bunny on a stick. It's cute, it's cute. Like, I'm gonna eat your ears later. You know how I am. And we've got this mini. Is this a koala? I think it is a koala. I don't know where that accent came from. I'm sorry. But this is a koala, I think. Don't quote me on that because I really can't tell. It just has two eyes. And let's just open that up. I think uh, the legit versions of these are called like Iwako or something, and some people actually collect them. I collect Pez personally. Maybe I'll show you that collection on another video. It's huge, my collection. It's just a cute little, little bear. I probably would be afraid to use it because then its cuteness would go away because of my terrible pencil and these mistakes. So we'll just not do that. And we got Reese's Pieces eggs. And I mean, you know, Reese's Pieces are awesome enough, but eggs? Good lord. And this was the finale of the basket. Uh, I'm actually missing one thing, which it is um, a pushing calendar. It's for 2015, so I'm a little behind in using it, but I don't care. Pushing is literally my favorite cute, like, adorable thing. Oh my God, I just, I love it so much. And it came with stickers. Some of the same ones that you have on Facebook and like the messenger for like the sticker app thingy. Those are so cute. I love it so much. And now the finale of the basket is a Rilakkuma mini trash can. Um, when he first ordered this, he told me he thought it was going to be like the size of this box or maybe higher. So he was like, he was thinking, oh, this is going to be awesome. I'm gonna have this giant ass Rilakkuma. I'm gonna shove all the candy in there. It's gonna be awesome. She's gonna flip out. But he didn't read the fine print. So it ended up being like this tiny little trash can, but I'm okay with that. And I'm totally not gonna put trash in it because it's way too cute for that. And he loaded it with all my favorite chocolate candies, including Reese's eggs, oh my God. And uh, yeah, so um, overall, I got diabetes for Easter, um, so this all this stuff barely fits in the top of my closet, and I still have two other baskets that I need to show you guys, so yeah, so that was basket number one from Pablo, and I hope you guys like this little unboxing, unbasketing, yeah, unbasketing, we'll go with that, and um, if you guys actually want me to try some of the candy, or maybe there's certain types that are like weird that you guys want me to try and I don't have them here, I'll go out and find them because I love doing that kind of stuff. And I will eat them in front of you and you can watch me eat. <laughs> but yeah, so. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.